Hi, my name is Paul. I'm part of the Kino Lime team, and I want to first welcome you to the screenplay reader. It's really the most critical part of our experience on KinoLime.com. It's where you not only read or listen to the screenplay that you choose, but also it's where you're going to cast your vote. So we want to make sure that that experience is super smooth for you, and to make sure that as you're going through it, you may notice some things that might look a little strange, uh, but Having watched this video, you'll understand why, and you'll be okay with moving forward. Furthermore, if you ever run into an issue in the reader experience, you can always uh, reach out to our customer support team who is available on the live chat uh, if something comes up. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to just share my screen, and I'm going to walk you through a few of the important features of our reader, which you see here. So, uh, right off the bat, the first thing I'm going to mention is that we start you off on page two of, your, of a screenplay that you've selected from the competition. We start you off on page two uh, because we've stripped the title page from the reader. The reason why we do that is because we want to preserve some of the anonymity that, uh, that's, he, that's sort of part of the Kinolime experience. Uh, we think that if you can focus more on the quality of the writing, the quality of the characters, the quality of the plot, and less about who wrote it, uh, you'll be able to understand and share with us a lot more of what's going on on the page and provide a more quality vote uh, for this screenplay. So that's the first thing to note. Second thing to note is we've got this notepad, which enables you to add a note on any of these, on any page you're on. So you just add that, post it, and there you can see we provide the timestamp as well as the page that the note is on. And that's helpful when you're going through your voting, you're casting your vote, and you wanna kinda of go back and see if there's anything that you felt it was really strong or positive, you wanna remember, you wanna call out. Uh, th that's often helpful. So next thing, I'm gonna skip the vote button for a moment. And I'm just going to call out that we have a audio tool that basically uh, converts a screenplay into an audio book. So if you can't spend time uh, on the you know, in front of your desktop or your laptop or your phone, and it's easier for you just to hear a screenplay, uh, this is basically your audio book, your podcast that uh, when you're on the go, you could listen to and you can get through the screenplay that way. Next is the vote button. So the vote button is really a button that uh, prompts the voting panel uh, to drop down and shows uh, the various questions that we pr provide you and the rating system that we need you to fill out uh, so that we can understand the quality of the screenplay. And right now you can see that it's grayed out and it's grayed out intentionally because we want to avoid users who are just going to scan through the whole screenplay without having fully read it and cast a vote. We're really trying to avoid that. We want to ensure that anybody who casts a vote, while you know it's a, open to the public to ultimately cast any vote, uh, we want to make sure that anybody who is going through that has read the, the screenplay. And, uh, and I think the quality of the votes will mean a lot more when we have somebody that we're we're sure has spent a good amount of time on any given screenplay. So <clears throat> there are a few criteria that we have sort of built into the screenplay reader that uh, you should know about. So the way that this vote button will be enabled and allow anybody to cast their vote with is a user or a reader will have had to read 75% at least of a screenplay. So 75% is really the key, uh, key percentage that we are checking that will then, if, if reached, will open up that vote button. Now, it's not just 75%. It's also one more criteria. So the second criteria is we 
are clocking how long you're spending on any given page. So we want to ensure that you're reading the words on the page, digesting it, and understanding what's, what's there. And the best way we know how to do that right now is to basically make sure that any reader is spending 25 seconds or more on any single page. So when you're reading, you know, if you're reading anything on the page, make sure that you're spending at least 25 seconds on that page before you proceed. If you go faster than 25 seconds, it may prevent you from enabling that, that voting button. You know, even if you get to 75%, you may not have spent enough time on any of these pages leading up to that uh, that would enable you to open up that screenplay button, uh, voting button. So be sure to take your time, get to about 25, get to 25 seconds on any given page before you proceed. I'll also add that the the audio tool also is set up so that you can vote based on having listened to it, but you must also finish 75% of the audio tool for the voting button to open up as well. And there is no fast forwarding on the listening tool. So you can increase the speed at which you listen to the narration, but you can press, you know, fast forward or zip to the end uh, in order to see the your vote button open up. And lastly, uh, we really encourage authors of screenplays to read other screenplays of other writers um, versus uh, trying to vote uh, for your own screenplay. So we don't allow our own the own the individual author to vote on his own screenplay. Uh, and so we encourage you to look for another screenplay that you like or friends of yours that you like um, and try to read that one and cast your vote there instead. Okay, I hope this helps you understand what you're walking into and sort of the experience you um, are going to you know, have during this process. Um, and of course, again, if you have run into any issues or have any other further questions about how this whole thing works, you can always reach out uh, to our customer support team that's found on our live chat uh, widget. All right, other than that, happy reading. Thank you so much for being a part of the Cunolan competition. Take care.